Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Streggy, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. college flunkies. I've had enough of this from you and from everyone else. I know what you guys are trying to do. Break me down, drive me out of the force. Well, it's gonna take a hell of a lot more than a lame prank like this to get Curtis Mooney to throw in his badge, so fuck you. Over. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Delusions of Grandeur. I'm your host, David Streggy, and here I have another review for you, this time of a 2019 film that is directed by Richard Stanley of the ill-reputed firing of the island of Dr. Moreau direct, uh, director who had spent four years on that pro uh, project but had made a comeback uh, in a segment of the Theater Bazaar which was a bazaar uh, a segmentary anthology, as it were, <laughs> but comes back with an impact that I don't think I will not, uh, not remember in Color Out of Space. Um, and he co-wrote the screenplay with Scarlett Aramis, uh, uh, Amaris, um, who was also on a segment um, in the theater bazaar with him called the Mother of Toads. But um, Richard Stanley himself um, was, in fact, uh, on that particular segment, um, he was um, in the Mother of Toads as well. He, or he somewhat directed it at the time so collaborating with scarlet amaris uh in color out of space definitely made this film shine all the more so in the beginning of this film we have a young woman uh by the name of I believe Lavinia, uh, who is played by Madeline, uh, Madeline, Madeline Arthur, um, who's in the new Snowpiercer series, uh, to all the boys I loved before. She was in a show called The Magicians. She was in the X Files in a couple of episodes in in DC Legends of Tomorrow, Echo and Sol uh, uh, Solomon, a short film. And, uh, yeah, um, uh, she was also in The Tomorrow People back in, uh, 2014, uh, and as in Grace the Possession, uh, um, as Sally. So, um, in the beginning of this, uh, version of H.P. Lovecraft's Color Out of Space, we find that she looks like she's dressed in gothic garb. Um, her hair is colored purple. 
I don't understand why women do this, or why they tie-dye their hair like, uh, like this, but for some reason, the color purple actually looks pretty in her hair. Um, and uh, while well, uh, she is performing some kind of a spell for, for whom I appear would be um, her dead mother, because I believe that her father is has remarried and she has a, a two brothers, one younger and one older. And uh, it appears that um, the father is played by Nicolas Cage. Um, the mother is played by Jolie Richardson. Her name is Ther uh, uh, Teresa. Uh, Teresa, uh, and uh, Nicholas Cage is a name in here is Nathan Gardner. Um, so apparently a young man uh, played by Elliot Knight uh, by the name of Ward um, comes up and sees her in the act of this spell. And uh, apparently he's there to um, test the waters and figure out what uh, why things are doing what they're, uh, what they're doing in the area area. And uh, all, uh, what's interesting to, uh, to me is uh, that Tommy Chong <laughs> uh, plays in this film as uh, a, a hermit a neighbor uh, somewhere nearby and he's He's definitely a hippie in his in, in his own realm of things, and he, he has definitely brought the Chong charm to the uh, to the film, because he is definitely his own character as Ezra. Um, and uh, you've got Benny and Jack, played by Brandon Mayer and Julian Hillard. Um. And I believe that is the rest of the family. Of course, then we have Sheriff Pierce, played by Josh C. Waller. Uh, Mayor Tuma, played by Kuryanka uh, Kilcher. And uh, a reporter, a secretary, and Hunter Jake, played by Melissa Nearman, Amanda Booth, and Keith Harrell. Now that we have the cast set, the story involves a meteor that some uh, somewhere where falls on the fa uh, the farm the family farm the gardener farm uh where shortly after uh, after the meteor falls the youngest son i believe his name is jack played by julian hillard um who believe it or not he played on the haunting of hill house and apparently he uh, plays on the new Penny Dreadful um, City of Angels, as well as uh, playing in The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, uh, which is Conjuring number three later on. But in any case, he starts to talk to, or at least goes silent. So something happens um to him while he's in the house and changes him to uh, uh, to be silent and suddenly he starts talking to someone who isn't there next we have the uh, the mother um she is cooking uh dinner the following night and um she is cutting up some vegetables and she ends up cutting straight into her hand uh, and uh, uh, Nathan has to take her to the hospital, and now the kids are home alone with the uh, problem just getting worse. Um, eventually, the older child ends up going after something that's in the well that apparently the younger son is talking to something that's within the well as well. And then later, when the mother comes back, 
as she goes down the well with the young uh, 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 young Jack and the neon lights that come from the meteor somehow bond their bodies together to make them all three of them a monster that they bring back to the attic <laughs> <coughs> Which later on, <laughs> later on, that young kid, a young ward kid, um, ends up coming back to uh, to, uh, to the house, um, and trying to uh, help and rescue uh, uh, the uh, the rest of the family, and he's trying to get uh, Lavinia to come out as well and the ending of this film oh god I, I can't say the ending of this film but the ending of this film is just freaky as fuck the uh the the whole ending uh, ending scene and i would i would call this a neon exploitation film in the exact likes of films of the film mandy which also starred uh, Nicholas Cage, which is why I think that director Richard Stanley um, went with him uh, because to uh, to me it's like he's using um, Nicholas Cage as the guiding light because because uh, that movie was a mind fuck as well <laughs> and uh, uh, to. Uh, Of course, I have one qualm about the uh, this film. It only came in a Blu-ray. It didn't have a DVD. It didn't have a combo pack. It had justice. Justice. And I am seriously distraught about that. Because to me... It should have deserved a proper combo pack. I love DVD. I hate Blu-ray, which is why I try to buy only things that are on DVD. I don't really want to update to having a Blu-ray player entirely. I have my issues with Blu-rays, and you shouldn't just make me buy blue uh, only blue uh, Blu-rays. It should uh, be able to be bought on a DVD, and that is the reason why I dislike this. But, on the other hand, I really enjoyed watching the film, and I'm glad that I own it, at least in some respects. I am able to watch it and rewatch it, but I am not happy about this. In any case, I enjoyed the... <laughs> I'm not. It was weird fucking acting. I mean, I liked how unkiltered and unraveled the family became for some reason. I liked the madness and how unchaotic or how chaotic it it became. Uh, how the uh, how the dialogue ended up be, uh, being like pig latin or something like that you know um and i enjoyed the colors of the film they were very beautiful so in any case uh hopefully you get a chance to check out the film um i'm glad that i checked it out L let me know what you think down in the comments what you th uh, 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 if you've seen the film and if you've seen the film what were your thoughts on it um, I would definitely love to know if you had similar thought uh, thought processes. And for some uh, uh, some r reason, this is uh, this this is one of those uh, films that um, I feel like <laughs> I feel like we wouldn't have this kind of film without John Carpenter's The Thing. You know what I mean? Or, some, or the reanimator, or something to, uh, to that effect, because this reminds me of that 
much of a mind blowing special effects. I loved the special effects of the creature that the family, at least part of the family, became. And it freaked me out when I saw it. It didn't it didn't spook me right away. It was definitely a slow burn, but um, once it got there, it got there. Anyways, thank you for listening. Have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. Appreciate your time spent here on my channel, and let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. You were good, kid, real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see?